been uh, helping us for many years uh, with this and other uh, really good with this. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, she's, uh, she's a real uh, are you good with, uh, it's a pleasure to yeah. have her yes. uh, when I uh, when I speak could you just um, associates Sure, uh, so without any yeah, further ado, I'd like to introduce and the audience Marley. Uh, but I'll do Marley. Marley? Uh, yeah, maybe you can go. Do Marley. And me? So Just continue. Yeah. So this is... It's taping now. It's uh, when it's saying red. It's taping now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hi. And that's wide angle there? Um, yeah, wide angle. I just angle. want to start by reading a quote uh, okay. by documentary filmmaker it's Madeline Burns. Uh, she visited the Canadian ice flows um, uh, in the past, and this is what she had to say about what she saw. A crime was committed at Cavendish Beach. I saw a man skin a baby seal alive. The fisheries officers in the Mounties saw him do it also. There were many witnesses. I filmed the cruelest act that I had ever seen, and I was arrested. The crime was that I had filmed a man skin a seal alive. I was the criminal. The man laughed and walked away. They confiscated our film. They were trying to get the film off my partner, and they had him on the ground with his skin showing and his clothes ripped apart and his arm twisted behind his back. He yelled for me to take a picture. I did, but they later confiscated my camera as well. That was in 1981, 28 years ago. Since then, millions upon millions and millions of seals have died on the Canadian ice flow. But last year was a landmark year for Canadian seal activists, or activists all over the world. Because for the first time in history, the Canadian government publicly admitted that seals were being skinned alive. Even though they had sworn for years that the hunt was humane, because of growing support for the uh, European Union ban on seal products, they released a statement saying that this year's hunt will be conducted under new rules to appease European concerns. Uh, with extra steps added to make sure that the animals are dead before they are skinned, they were now required to sever the femoral artery under the seal's flipper after they bash them in the face with a hat pick, as well as carry out a blink test by poking the seals on the eye to see if they react. That was the Canadian government attempt at making this hunt more humane. A DFO spokesperson stated, this is now a near condition of a sealing license. We're just trying to make sure there is no possible way that a seal could be skinned while it was irreversibly unconscious but not dead. It's really going an extra distance to make sure that it's humane as it can be. Thanks for that. We appreciate that. Unfortunately, those new conditions don't seem to be helping the seals, considering last year none of the seals were witnessed carrying out these extra steps. Not to mention the fact that stabbing a seal in the chest is no more humane than bashing them in the face with a hockey pick. In 2007, a group of European veterinarians with input from 53 international experts did a scientific study of the seal carcasses post-mortem and found that up to 42% of the seals were being skinned alive during the hunt. That's almost 100,000 seals every single year because of inadequate killing methods. The majority of the time, the seals are bashed in the head. It only renders them unable to move um, while choking on their own blood. But the Canadian government denies that number. They say that that's too high. They say it's only around 2% of seals that are skinned alive every year. That's 6,000 seals skinned alive every single year by their count alone. 6,000 seals too many. I think, I'm not just speaking for myself when I'm saying I'm sick and tired of being ignored by the government. I'm sick and tired of writing letters and not getting answers back and not being listened to and being completely disregarded. Um, we are sick and tired of being told that we're the minority and that majority of the c Canadian citizens support this hunt. Because I believe that Canadian citizens, the majority of us, are compassionate people. So that means that we are the majority, and at least the majority of us want this hunt to stop, but we're being ignored by the government, and this has to stop. So just shame on Stephen Harper, shame on the, the DFO, and please tell everyone to boycott Canadian seafood to shut this hunt down. claims are being skinned alive every single year. Uh, that's 28 years since Madeline Burns saw that seal being skinned alive. And how many seals? 6,000 times 28. By their number of all, millions of seals being skinned alive. So, Anthony Moore. Sorry. That's all I have to say. <laughs> thank you. Marty, thank you very much. Thank you, Marty. Uh, folks, this is Marty alluded to.
to, uh, we have as a group been writing to our politicians uh, for years, literally thousands and thousands and thousands of letters. In fact, there's two or three people I can point to here who themselves have written over a thousand letters. Collectively, the numbers are extraordinary, but, and it seemed to us for years and for good reason that we were being completely ignored, despite the fact that over 70, every legitimate poll has proven that over 70% of Canadians are against this commercial seal hunt and want it stopped now. We like to think we live in a democracy where the majority rule. Our politicians sometimes think otherwise with the minority rule. And why? 30 million Canadians have to suffer because of 6,000 people who earn a few thousand dollars for a few weeks every year it is extraordinary. I know you agree. However, there is a light at the end of that political tunnel, and that light lies with a, a Mr. or should I say, Senator Mac Harp, Senator from Ontario. Finally, we have a politician who is on our side, uh, Mr. Mac Harp. Here, here. Yeah. Mr. Mac Harp, who is a folk hero to us all now suddenly, has uh, has uh, looked at this issue as we have from all perspectives and decided that it's just simply not acceptable, and he has introduced legislation into the government uh, to end the Canadian commercial seal hunt. The thing he's lacking is a secondary. The hundreds of, of senators, not a single one, will take a look at this issue uh, in the light of truth and, and second his motion, at least so far. But let me tell you very quickly, read a, uh, a report from him, and then I'm going to introduce to you uh, our next two speakers. Mr. Max Harb wrote just last week, for decades, the hunting of immature seals has pitted the interests of sealers against those of the majority of Canadians who feel the cost of the hunt, economic and otherwise, outweigh its meager benefits. It is time to transition Canadian seals into sustainable industries, benefiting a modern country in the 21st century. That's a summation of his comments. I won't read them all because I know you're cold and we have two very, very important speakers yet to come. And uh, with that in mind, David Stanley, who helped me organize this demonstration, uh, would like to introduce uh, our next speaker. David? Let's just, let's just break it and then start it again to make it... Hello, everybody. Um, I'm going to just introduce Gord Fuller, who's the only Nanaimo politician who has the courage to join us here today and take a stand. He's the only one. So come on forward, Gord Fuller. Gord almost was elected to Nanaimo City Council in the municipal elections and he's going to be running again in 2011 so remember his name push the button and speak <laughs> I need one of these I'm primarily known as an activist on social issues particularly homelessness and poverty in the community of Nanaimo but when something's wrong no matter what it is I will be out there in support of it I don't call this uh, what they're doing out on the East Coast a seal hunt. It's killing. It's pure and simple killing. And uh, it's wrong. If you've ever watched some of the stuff on TV, you know it's wrong. There should be well more than 100 people out here protesting this. Mm -hmm. So I really congratulate all of you for coming out and doing this. Um, I'm not a politician, actually, as David likes to say. I'm actually somewhat anti-politician, but yes, I have run for council, and uh, really want to congratulate you all for coming out on a chilly day like this. And let's not send Harper to hell, let's send him to a much colder place. <laughs> Far too warm. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you very much.